Welcome to foodfeedinfo.com. Today we are going to perform sample preparation for individual mineral analysis. Normally uh, the minerals they are present in a bound form and they are the inorganic component of a feed. So uh, before uh, going to analyze a feed sample or any uh, stuff for a particular mineral analysis, we have to convert those bound mineral into a free state. For that we usually do a uh, wet digestion procedure. Uh, this wet digestion procedure is also known as wet ashing. Uh, this is different from the dry ashing. Here we use uh, certain acids, strong acids uh, to do uh, the ashing procedure. So today uh, we will perform this experiment. Wet digestion methods for mineral or elemental analysis involve the chemical degradation of sample matrices in solution, usually with the combination of acids to increase solubility. The various acid and flux treatments are carried out at high temperatures uh, to minimize contamination of the sample with substances in the air, the local environment and from the vessel walls. Losses from the sample may occur due to adsorption onto the vessel walls, volatilization and co-extraction, but these can be reduced by procedural modifications. The use of closed system where the digestion reaction is completely isolated from the surrounding may help to reduce both contamination and sample loss. So what is the difference between wet ashing and dry ashing? Uh, why we are not using uh, the sample uh, which we have burned uh, through muffle furnace or dry ashing technique. Dry ashing is usually by burning the sample at 550 or 600 degrees Celsius in a muffle furnace. They, that is also ash but chances are there uh, some of the minerals might get lost or uh, we can lose some uh, dry ash. So in case of wet digestion or wet ashing uh, where we use uh, different acids uh, the loss of analyte uh, is very uh, rare or you can say the chances of loss uh, they are very less or very minimum. So that's why we use the wet ashing technique. What is the principle of wet ashing? The organic material of the sample is oxidized with highly oxidizing acids like concentrated nitric acid and perchloric acid. These acids are partially removed by volatilization and the dissolved mineral constituents are diluted for further analysis. Uh, to perform uh, wet digestion, uh, we need a uh, fume hood for the evacuation of acid fumes. Uh, we need hard plate and a digestion flask of 100 ml capacity and we need 100 ml volumetric flask, glass funnel. The reagents in this experiment we will use nitric acid and perchloric acid. The nitric acid should be concentrated one and the perchloric acid should be of 72%. Choice of acid or reagent for wet digestion. Ideally the selected reagent should cause the complete dissolution of the sample. So as a general guideline uh, it is useful to classify the more common acid treatment according to whether they oxidize the sample or not. The non-oxidizing acid include dilute hydrochloric acid, hydrofluoric, sulfuric and perchloric acids. Whereas the oxidizing acids include hot concentrated nitric, sulfuric and perchloric acid. So I am uh, putting this information uh, from a book chapter. Hydrochloric acid will dissolve metals above the standard reduction potential of hydrogen, salts of weak acid and many oxides. Uh, dilute sulfuric acid, perchloric acid are useful for metals above the standard reduction potential of hydrogen. Hot concentrated sulfuric acid will often dissolve metals below the standard reduction potential of hydrogen. The most uh, potent oxidizing conditions are obtained using hot concentrated perchloric acid which will dissolve all common metals. Concentrated hydrochloric acid is an excellent solvent for many metal oxides as well as those metals that are more easily 
oxidized than hydrogen. In addition, it is often a better solvent for oxides than the oxidizing acids. Hot concentrated nitric acid will dissolve all common metals with the exception of aluminium and chromium which are passive to the reagent as a result of surface oxide formation. Hot nitric acid also readily oxidizes many organic substances. Hot concentrated sulfuric acid can be used to decompose and dissolve many substances in part because of its high boiling point that is 340 degrees Celsius. And it is particularly useful for the dehydration and oxidation of organic samples. Most metals and alloys are also attacked by this hot acid. Perchloric acid is a potent oxidizing agent that leads to the formation of highly soluble perchloric salts. As with sulfuric acid, perchloric acid dehydrates and oxidizes organic samples very efficiently. It also attacks iron alloys and stainless steel which are resistant to other mineral acids. However, care is required when using perchloric acid because it is explosive in contact with certain organic compounds and easily oxidizes in organic material. Special chemical hood they are required perchloric acid as a 72 to 74% solution boils at 203 degree Celsius. Hydrofluoric acid is a weak non-oxidizing acid that is particularly useful for dissolving silicate samples since it removes the silicon quantitatively as volatile silicate fluoride. In many cases, hydrofluoric acid dissolution can be achieved by adding sodium fluoride to samples treated with hydrochloric acid. What type of uh, acid mixture should be used? For organic samples, uh, 1 ratio 3, 1 nitric acid, 3 hydrochloric acid uh, is the best uh, combination of acids. The nitric acid acts as an oxidizing agent while the hydrochloric acid provides the complexing properties. And uh, 1 to 4 mixture of 1 sulfuric acid and 4 nitric acid is also widely used. A very efficient acid mixture is nitric, sulfuric and perchloric acid in a volume ratio of 3 nitric, 1 sulfuric and 1 perchloric acid for a typical 10 gram sample of tissue or blood. 10 ml of this solution is sufficient for complete dissolution. How to perform uh, the experiment? Carefully weigh up to the precision of 1 milligram, a 1 gram dry sample. It should be moisture free. So uh, pour that into a 100 ml digestion flask, adjust the hot plate or burner in a fume hood, add 20 ml nitric acid to digestion flask and place it on hot plate or burner under fume hood. Heat at low temperature for about 10 minutes and then at high temperature till the solid particles are dissolved. So be careful from inhaling the acid fumes. Remove digestion floss from the hot plate and let it cool. Carefully add about 10 ml perchloric acid. Heat at low temperature for about 10 minutes and then at high temperature till about 3 ml clear colorless solution is left. So always careful. Uh, do not heat to dryness as it will destroy certain minerals. Discontinue heating and let the contents cool. Dissolve the content in distilled water and shift them to volumetric flask. Wash the digestion flask two or three times to ensure complete transfer of the dissolved minerals to volumetric flask. Make the volume, mix and allow to stand overnight. Filter through a filter paper or simply use supernatant for further analysis. Thank you for watching www.foodfeedinfo.com